So society was divided into three parts. In 1774, Louis XVI of Bonbon family. Bonbon family means it is the hereditary name of a family who was ruling in France at that point of time. Bonbon family of king ascended the throne in France. He was 20 year old and married to an Austrian princess, Marin Antoinette. Upon his accession, the new king found an empty treasure, means the king was new, but there was nothing for that uh, king as a property or something like that, empty treasure. Long years of war had drained the financial resource of the France because this war has cost a lot to the France. Added to this was the cost of maintaining extravagant court and immense palace of Versailles. They were having extravagant life, means extra luxurious life. The cost of this luxurious lifestyle was too much. It was very difficult for them to maintain this cost. American colonies to gain their independence from common enemy Britain. America was under Britain at that point of time. The war added more than a billion levers. Levers means these are the currency. Lever means the currency of France. Lever. L I V R E S. Levers. To the depth and had already risen to more than 2 billion levers. It was the depth. 2 billion levers were the depth already. Lenders who gave the state credit now begin to charge 10% interest on loan. Those who have given the money, they are now starting. Previously, there was no, they were not charging any interest. But then they come to know that the financial condition of the royal is very weak. So they started 10% interest on money per annum. So the, Fran so the French government was obliged to spend an increasing percentage of its budget to interest payment allowed means they were paying their all um, payment was going in interest only forget about the principal amount yet even this measure would not have suffered french society in 18th century was divided into three states which i have already discussed earlier only member of third estate has to pay tax now you know that for king and everyone, they have extravagant life and they want money to maintain this that uh, status of life. They are, what is the source of income of the government or any king? It's the tax paid by the citizens. Now, here there was a discrimination, kind of discrimination. First estate and second estate who are literally very money men. They were, they were not paying any tax, means they were allowed, means they, they should not pay any tax, but only they were collecting tax only from the third estate now third estate you know that they are middle class people the society estate was part of feudal system now this is very important feudal system a feudal system in which i will just give an example of feudal system a person a has taken a person a has taken a loan of rupees 50000 from b for 2 years that i will 2 years after 2 years i will pay the money but if a pays if a fails to pay money to the b 50000 rupees the b can take any amount of work without payment from a this from li till the life uh, till the life lifespan that he pays the money back and he take any work like we can say he can have uh, um, any gardening work cleaning work until unless that a person do not pay the complete money amount 50,000. This was just an example. So that was a kind of slavery. And this slavery kind of the system, the slavery system is called feudal system. It is asked in one mark and three mark. The old regime, regime means time, is usually used to describe the society institution of French before 1789. The system of estate in France society was organized. Peasants made up to 90% of the population. Now, you say peasant means the person who are working in a factory sites and construction workers, the people who are very poor working for their daily uh, wages are called peasants. And the 90% of the people were peasants and 10% were other two estates. However, only small number owned the land cultivated and 60% of the landowner was noble.